Hi guys, it's Jamie from PMR. Um, it's not very often that I say bad things about other people, um, but I am today. In front of you is a Pen Fathom 15. This was bought brand new uh, by a customer of mine, Peter, who uh, lives up north. And um, he, uh, he bought this uh, particular reel, and it was... Um, I think it was 125 quid and another 25 or 30 quid or something like that to have it with a mag as you can see it's got a mag and um, so he paid for the lot with uh, with the mag and um, used it like once twice and then sent it to me because it is not very controllable and um, well if I turn this over like this and say that's how it comes with a hole there can you see that hole yeah, I'll take the knob off in a minute and you'll be able to see it a little bit better but before I do that I'm going to give you a little spin test now this is the mag all the way in that's the mag out it's a mono mag and that is the mag all the way in and that noise in the background as usual was my phone so with the mag all the way in and uh, leave a drag down let's give it a little spin test yep this is the mag all the way in <laughs> that is about as much use as <laughs> Ah, oh, control myself. I've got a. Uh, this is a family show. This is about as much use as passing wind in a spacesuit or an ashtray on a motorbike. I'll do that again. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you why. Um, I've already taken the screws out of here. There you go, but you've got the lip here, so it all sits on as long as you push it in. I'm going to pop that there, and I'm going to say... What is that? Little 5mm by 2mm, 3mm magnet doing... in this colossal, huge, great reel. Yeah, there's not a lot you can say to that really, is there? Well, actually I could um, think of a few things, but um, uh, choice words, and uh, I just cannot get over the fact that uh, this would be sent out by somebody who has a tackle shop, I might add, and they're charging an extra 20 or 30 quid or something like that to have this fitted. And um, there you go, you can probably see a bit, bit better now. Where it's been put in the clicker hole, it's uh, right up. And there's been nothing put here, nothing at all. If I put that, I move this out of the way so you can, there you go, because it's a, see, black background. Now you, now you see it, now you don't. <laughs> now you can see that there is a great big hole. And that's how it comes. So if you go beach fishing, <laughs> um, all the sand from the Sahara is basically going to get in there. You're going to have to strip it down, wash it out every time. I cannot believe that somebody would actually sell something like this without finishing it. Oh, and by the way, the other thing is the um, the mag brakes, uh, the, not mag brakes, sorry, the uh, centrifugal brakes have been removed, taken out. So this is a rather big spool, bigger than a 6,500 Abu, more uh, along the sizes of a 7,500 Abu, but with a floating spool. And yet there is a little tiny 5mm magnet masquerading as a <laughs> a mag break with a hole now um 
I did actually take more of this apart and I'm I'm gonna do it again because I think uh, if anybody else sees these for sale and is gonna buy one you might as well just buy a standard one and send it to me and I have to say I was never gonna do a mag for one of these because they're not one of my favorite reels it's a big chunky boat reel that was never meant to be cast on a beach um, the only upside it's got is the fact that it has a, a floating spindle and um, there is something in the works for a, um, a decent centre mag but I'm not telling you any more yet um, I don't know if I can get this out without uh, ruining my fingers but basically this bit here has been absolutely mullered let's have a look see if I can get this out there we go let's pop this down there And this is the most shocking bit, really. There you go. I mean, top collar. That's for a top collar. This is a. This isn't a, a, a mag break. This is a gimmick that you're paying twenty or thirty pounds for. That is. It wouldn't stop you from passing wind. A butterfly could fly past it and not affect it it is just horrendous i mean look at the spring look at the oh dear. i really can't get over it the only the only cool bit i quite like this little aluminium knob that's been powder coated but it's still even that hasn't been done that well hmm. mind you um pot kettle black you know is my stuff any better um i think the one thing that uh, i can def definitely say if i move this out so you can see this um at least I can get the hole in the middle. That, if you can see there, is right up against the side. And here, you've got two mil, three mil. Let me get this and do it with this. There you go. Now you can see, on this side, here, yeah, that is about two millimeters off center i cannot believe that now apart from it being completely and utterly out of line and uh, i don't know if you can see that there but it's been completely mullered round here as well with a it looks like a a dremel to help get it in but it gets worse look at this Ab absolutely been mullered couldn't even keep it straight it's been cut down there if you guys can see that it's been cut down there and yet this side it's still up a lot higher then it's been cut down here it hasn't been cut down here there's a bit hasn't been cut out there a bit's been cut out there it's as they to coin a phrase absolutely shocking first thing that should have happened was this piece here should have all been taken out so that the magnet can recess into there using this hole here and moving this out about three mil yeah watch this watch this space now i'm going to fix it Okay, we're back. It's uh, an hour or so later. I've been uh, playing around with this uh, with this mag. So, um, as you can see, to start with, the um, the hole has been nice and neatly plugged. There you go. I'll turn it around that side. It's slightly more light. You can see. If I hold it, hold it up there. There you go. Nice plug has gone in there and I've used the same knob because it's a nice little subtle 50mm uh, knob and um, the magnet is now in now I've already set this and put it in so it's ready to go back in the uh, the reel but I just wanted you to see the difference 5mm 
and I have no idea what mag strength it is but it's not that strong or 8mm this one here yeah there you go <laughs> it's an 8mm very strong 8mm N50 rare earth magnet and it's an 8mm by 3mm and uh, that should make quite a big difference to to that I mean that was that's even ground off it's not even cut or not ground off um, looks like a, a hacksaw blade hmm. yeah anyway less said about that the better so I'll tell you what let's just wind him out a little bit and see if we can uh, pop him on there you go I've still got to put the screws back in this but we'll get around to that later right so wind the mag all the way in there you go mags all the way in and the last time we did this it was what about 10 12 second plus spin time with the mag in so one two oh dear three one two three almost made four then one two three there you go hey presto it works would like to get a 10 mil in there uh, instead of the 8 mil but i am wondering whether it's actually going to fit because that 8 mil is kind of a little bit tight but there you go it does the job one two three there you go now if i take this mill mag and uh, wind it all the way out there you go it's all the way out there you go so now you have a rather nice controllable reel the other thing i noticed about this reel is that um one of the bearings, it's a very weird size and it's very small and I don't think you're going to get decent bearings for it. When I say decent, I'm talking about hybrid ceramics. So that's going to be another stage that we'll try. Bottom line is, don't buy one of these magged. If you want one of these, buy it standard and send it to me and I'll put a proper mag on it. Something like this. Maybe slightly different to this because I didn't make this knob and I didn't make this collar because this isn't how this isn't how I personally would do it. But what I've done is taken what's already there. There you go. Taken what's already there. When it focuses, there you go. And improved on it. Kind of like the knob actually, I must admit. I would have made one in acetal, which is like a plastic polymer, but aluminium that's uh, been uh, powder coated uh, does the same job until it scratches. There you go, Peter. It will be on its way back to you very shortly so that you can go fishing and have some fun. I'm Jamie, thank you for watching PMR Pit My Reel. We'll see you next time.